everybody today is a slight pickup video of Star Wars stuff and perhaps a cookbook spying spree. Hmm. That I thought I would share with you some of the things coming to the channel cookbook wise and show off some of my Star Wars finds. So here we go. First off are some pop bobbleheads and Christmas figures that I just don't have the heart to take out of the box or put away. And first off, I found the Amazon exclusive for Padme. I have Darth Vader that I got for Christmas. My brother sent me the Darth Maul, which I think is awesome, because he just looks awesome. Although he seems to have a very oversized box for what's up. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I found that child with a cup. Yeah, although I want the one where he's eating a frog really bad. Then I happen to find these and realize that Hallmark isn't all just cheesy Christmas movies. They actually make some pretty cool figures. So we have Grogu in his little sack. And we've got Darth Vader, you know, doing his Vader stuff that he's good at doing. But, I mean, above all that, I seriously... I was just at Walmart and found this in the bargain bin and always wanted a Millennium Falcon all my own. And of course, like a lame person, I'll probably never take these out of the boxes. But this one is awesome. I love the details on it. It's not just, you know, painted over or anything. Technically, if I did take it out of the box, it has lights and sounds and places I could put the little engine and the satellite thing. I thought it was pretty cool for what I paid for it. I don't know if there's really much to show you on it, though. <laughs> now, that is pretty cool. So that's where it would glow. All right, cool. They got other types. But, yeah, that's my Star Wars pickup so far. First up in the new cookbook selection is The World of Thailand, which ended up being a pretty decently big book for a couple dollars. This is the addiction of thrift books, boys and girls. I've always wanted to learn some Thai food anyway, so I guess you might see some of it soon. Next one I found was Egyptian food for the pharaohs, which if you know anything about this household, we love Egypt. So this seemed like a must buy for me. Also found the Shakespeare's Kitchen Renaissance Recipes. Some of those look really good. I've only skimmed through it, though. Because you can never have enough of these. We got the Irish Cooking Bible. Which the cover made me hungry. So, I mean, that's a good sign, right? And I've had, for a while, the Amish Community Cookbook. And from what I've seen, it has some pretty simple good ideas in it. Some of which might aid me, or even the Terra Kitchen, or whoever. Good friend of mine sent me that. Which is more Irish food, so I mean, can you really lose? And last but not least, after some persuasion from the VG market, I grabbed Seriously Chili Cookbook. Or Good Chili. Wow, can't talk. Of course, I always laughed at the guy who played Kevin off The Office wrote it. But after looking at it myself for a couple months, maybe even a year, she bought it. And the end of the persuasion to buy it myself was there. So it really is a good cookbook. There's some ideas in there I never would have thought of. So, hey. All right, well, that's the pickup so far. Got our nice little stack of cookbooks for the videos and upcoming everythings if you saw anything in this stack or have anything to say about star wars leave me a comment leave me a like and i will see you in the next videos Later.